Maybe that's a bit better. Put the lapel mic on. It's windy today. December in Thailand. I've been watching the uh, dinghy sailing in England videos on YouTube and I'm fascinated by it actually. The idea of going up a small estuary and camping. For those of us who have ventured into the world of cruising, we will know only too well how uniquely special it is to arrive at your destination by boat, under your own steam. The lovely sense of self-sufficiency when you finally you drop the anchor and you put the kettle on. And I don't know why I've got this mad scheme of uh, wanting to get a little boat, a small boat, and go up the river. I do like the idea of exploring because um, there is a lot of um, downtime. There's a lot of downtime over here. I've got the time and not much to do. I've got the time and I haven't got not a lot to do with my time. Now getting across the bridge here is a bit of a hazard. Have a look at that restaurant. They're going for it. A new one. On the banks of the river. Bloody beautiful. See, I could cruise up the river in my little boat and pull into these restaurants. Have a cup of tea. Have a cup of coffee. I could only have two coffees a day. I'll get a bit head spin if I have more, but come up and have a feed, yeah. So there's the river, fellas. As you can see, it's just a reasonably wide river. It's tidal long way from the ocean here but it's just very flat um, flat country and it's, it is tidal uh, that's your tributary to the main river that's not the main river but I could have a little boat and cruise along there quite happily but look at that I could cruise along the rivers for a hundred miles and just pull in at these little riverside restaurants like that what better could you want to do in the day anyway this is a long way from uh, England and a long way from Australia there's some boats here, I believe they're for sale. You, um, I don't know what you call yourselves, nautical types, dinghy sailors, yacht sailors. There we go. They're nautical types of people that know about wooden boats. I do fancy the idea of um, heading up this big river here where I am, and I do fancy the idea of heading up the river and exploring. Very flat bottom boats these. Typical Thai style boats. There's one that's got a price on it, 40,000 bahts. Have a look at that boat, guys. Have a look at the uh, timber. That is carved out of one solid log. That is one piece of timber. That's incredible. I haven't had a close look before. I have seen them carved out of one log before, but um, not as wide as that. That's one solid piece of timber now it's got a little bit of trim along the edge there wow I don't know five meters six meters long here's another one it's also carved out of one piece of solid piece of timber how would they do that I don't know that's a big tree where they steam steam the middle and where they steam the middle and widen it out maybe I don't know, that's incredible, I didn't realise I had one piece, but at least I know something is a price on one. Here's another fellow, that's more of a thing I was looking at, that rack, up, that um, thing there, that little bit of metal, is where they put the long tail motor on, which is just a four stroke motor with a great big long shaft out the back with a prop going through it, uh, direct to the prop, and if you want to stop you lift it out of the water, you want to turn, you just spin it on that. It's very good. This would be nice, but it's obviously way too big for what I uh, what I need. There's the rudder, I think, guys. That's the rudder. Oh, yeah, it's way too big. It's got a roof on it. Who would know what the price on that is? I've got no idea on price. I'm just exploring options at the moment. Um, it's certainly got character. You got the storage area there. Yeah, bloody great. 
Well, there's a dude over the back there. Be watching me filming. There's a more of a um, a narrow and made out of planks. He's put a new new piece in the back here. They do sell a lot of these for the fronts of restaurants and things, for the smaller ones, and they use them as a table to put their vegetables and uh, goods for sale as a display thing. I'm seeing the crack there down through the boards. That one's got a quarter inch gap between the boards. Need a little bit of work on it. So I don't know if this fellow's a boat builder. That's got a price written in chalk to something. I've got no idea what the price of something like this would be worth. The other fact that comes into it is um, I've never seen a sailing vessel in Thailand. Maybe it's because um, maybe it's because there's not a lot of wind. You can see across the road there there's a bit of wind at this time of season. This is December and it is a windy season. It's cool. It's only about 24. It's very nice. But a lot of the other time of the year there's no wind and rain. A lot of rain and a lot of um, very hot. Hey, yeah, there you go, guys. I'm just checking this out to see what happens. That's way too big. That one's probably way too small. I'm like Goldilocks. <laughs> and these ones up here are made out of solid tree trunks. I cannot believe that. Solid tree trunks. They're obviously going to be way too. Uh, historically interesting and valuable for me to uh, start mucking around with but yeah there's a big one over there got 40,000 bahts on it giving it a thousand bahts just had a chook jumped out must be a chook nest in there somewhere <laughs> I better go the dude will be over talking to me nice restaurant over there I haven't been over there